How is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today I wanted to give you guys some updates on Bethesda's sort of future plans for console mods. They released in their own words their summer roadmap uh, earlier on today and I just thought it was something worth updating you guys on. You know it does have a few pieces of information in there that some of you guys may find interesting. So Getting straight into this, coming directly from their website, which by the way, I'll leave a link down below. It states, with the launch of mods on Xbox One, we are listening to all the great feedback, helping us to prioritize our work for the next few months. Here is a preview of our major new features and steps we'll be taking to improve the mods experience. And then of course they do list off uh, all of the things they do have planned. So for number one, uh, they've stated additional security for mod uploads to Bethesda.net. And uh, some of the key points from this are pretty much uh, users found to be breaking the terms of service or code of conduct uh, will be investigated by their moderation team and may have their Bethesda.net account completely banned so if you are uploading mods to bethesda.net make sure you're not breaking terms of service things like nude mods which of course aren't allowed uh which for those of you who don't know there was this sort of outbreak of nude mods on the consoles and for those who managed to download those nude mods pretty much get to keep them and still play with them and of course uh the accounts associated with uploading those nude mods uh, are more than likely banned now so nothing like that just make sure you're not breaking it you know make sure you're not stealing any mods as well uh, that seems to be a big issue right now on uh, consoles especially you have a lot of people sort of stealing a mod from a pc user who made it and then kind of updating it to the consoles without the you know the original creator's permission so make sure that if you are going to port a mod to the consoles that you do have the permission from the original owner and just stuff like that they're just clamping down on stuff like that as a bit of a warning there for everybody to know about so including this they've also stated that they're going to be increasing the mod storage limits and this is something they've touched upon slightly and didn't really talk too much about uh, on stream, but they've now officially put it down in writing on their website. So they've stated again, you know, we are working with Microsoft and Sony to increase the storage limit on consoles. So the storage limit right now is two gigabytes. And that can be a real pain because some of the mods on Xbox right now can take up like half of that space with just one mod. So uh, the limit, you know, increasing there is definitely gonna be a huge help uh, for downloading mods in general. The next thing they actually talk about here is the ability to upload a mod for multiple platforms at one time uh, rather than for each platform. So a good example of this is that if you search for stuff on Bethesda.net, you may notice that there'll be like a PC version of a mod, an Xbox version of a mod, and a PlayStation 4 version of a mod. And they'll all be on three separate sort of pages uh, with their own descriptions pertaining to the mod itself. You know, it's all one mod, it's just spread across three pages. So what they're doing instead is they're gonna have it all on one page and it'll just list off the platforms that that's available too so for instance if you have the any mod any weapon instead of it being on like three different pages for three different platforms it will now say pc xbox one and playstation 4 and you know just the one page itself so definitely again another huge help in terms of navigation organization and uh, just general usage there from the website the next thing they've stated is improved ui for mods experience and they've given a bit of a description about this uh, which states we're working on improvements to the ui for mods both on the website and in game to help users find more mods faster and easier and to also help new mods to get more exposure to users and this is something that's going to be a huge help because i've noticed and i don't know if you guys have noticed this either uh, but on the xbox mods menu right now when i try and search for a mod sometimes it won't show up but it will be on bethesda.net it's sort of weird if i feel like some of the mods just don't update to consoles very quickly so hopefully you know that new ui improvement will definitely help out in terms of that situation there but uh, moving on from this i've also stated that they're going to be improving Improving comments on mod detail pages uh, adding in features like a reply to comment report a comment and stuff like that uh, just to let the user know or uh, and let other users know as well uh, what people actually think about their mod a little bit easier uh, they're going to be improving the mod reporting system revising mods reporting categories for better clarity and also they're going to add in new categories for stolen content that's just a little bit easier for bethesda to clamp down on stuff like that uh, things like the ability to flag a mod for, as work in progress pretty much self-explanatory with that one uh, just letting users know that the mod is a work in progress and it's not completely done yet and then we have things like mod statistics which is also going to be receiving an update uh, in the future where modders themselves will have visible charts to see exactly how well their mod is doing and that's just you know better in general uh, for the whole modding community and for the final few things in the video uh, we have a customizable version naming so when a mod updates or when a mod goes to a different version 
uh, it will actually now show you. Then we have things like that modders will now be able to select other mods as dependencies for their mods. So uh, basically, if a, a certain mod that you want to download has another mod that you need to download for that one to work, it will now show up on that mod page just to let you guys know there. And for the final thing, we have the ability to upload more images per mod just to let you guys see a little bit more into the mod before you download it. And then general fixes and optimizations for Bethesda.net live services. And that, my friends, is the summer roadmap that they have planned for Fallout 4 console mods in general. You can expect these updates and improvements to roll out again just over the summer. They haven't really given a specific release date for certain things and stuff like that. And the one thing they didn't talk about, which I know a lot of people are going to ask in the comment section, is the PlayStation 4 console mods. I mean, they haven't talked about the release date or anything. But again, we do know that it is coming this month. Bethesda did actually confirm that it is 100% coming this month. And we're already 9 or 10 days in. So it shouldn't be too long now until we hear more about a release date from Bethesda uh, for PlayStation 4 mods. And a lot of you guys on PlayStation 4 are really looking forward to it. And yes, by the way, I've been getting asked this a lot. I will be covering PlayStation 4 mods as well. I'll be live streaming the second it comes out uh, here on YouTube. But, you know, aside from that, I'm going to be making videos on PS4 and Xbox One mods together as one. And uh, you can expect a bunch of content based around that as well uh, when it does release to that platform. But that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you did enjoy this video today or did find it helpful. Uh, by the way, top 10 mods of the week coming tomorrow or week two version of mods coming tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.